Dogs might be known to beg for scraps, but cats can be just as persistent. After all, cats are naturally curious and disobedient, so they're likely to jump up on the table if something smells good. And let's face it, it can be hard to resist feeding your cat a little bite of what you're having every now and then. But wise pet owner knows that there are many human foods cats shouldn't eat. First things first, as most cat owners are aware, cats should primarily eat food that is specifically made for feline health and digestive needs. But there are some human foods that can make great additions to your cat's diet, in moderation. Keep watching to find out which foods you should avoid and which foods are fine to add. Just be sure to check with your vet before offering any of these treats to your kitty. All right, let's start with milk, the most culturally misunderstood cat treat. So many movies and cartoons show friendly cat owners presenting an entire bowl of milk to their cat. And while milk, or any dairy for that matter, might be irresistible to your cat, it doesn't mean it's good for them. As kittens, cats are equipped to drink their mother's milk. But once they're weaned from it, their body produces less lactase, the enzyme that breaks down lactose. Therefore, just as nature intended, most adult cats are lactose intolerant. And this is completely fine, since lactose-high cow's milk was never intended to be part of an adult cat's diet. But this also means that eating or drinking dairy can upset their stomach or cause vomiting and diarrhea. Your cat might still love the taste of dairy. After all, it reminds them of being a kitten. But even though their brains crave it, their bodies might not tolerate it. Next up on the list is chocolate. You might already be aware that chocolate is a big no-no for dogs but pet owners are sometimes uncertain what to make of chocolate in relation to their cats. You might be surprised to learn that cats are just as seriously affected by chocolate as dogs are. Chocolate contains caffeine and a chemical called theobromine, which is poisonous to both dogs and their feline counterparts. Eating chocolate can cause vomiting, diarrhea, liver damage or liver failure, tremors, and seizures. In extreme cases, it can be fatal. Dark chocolate and unsweetened baking chocolate contain the highest amounts of theobromine. Therefore, these are the most dangerous types. And milk chocolate still contains these compounds in addition to a whole lot of dairy. Either way, chocolate is certainly something you want to keep from your furry friends under any circumstances. Grapes and raisins are also toxic to cats and dogs. Be mindful that they may cause sudden kidney failure in cats. So call your vet right away if you think your cat has eaten grapes, raisins, or chocolate. Alliums, including garlic, onions, leeks, scallions, chives, and shallots, can be toxic to cats and dogs as well. These foods can damage red blood cells or potentially cause anemia. It can be hard to tell whether your cat has eaten one of the above, particularly garlic, since it's often used as a garnish in other foods. But if you notice signs like vomiting, lethargy, or pale gums, call your vet right away. You should also avoid feeding your cat any of these. Macadamia nuts, fat trimmings from cooked meat, raw fish or raw eggs, artificial sweeteners, sweets, alcohol, coffee, tea, or energy drinks. There's certainly a high amount of dangerous foods for cats, but the good news is that once you know where they are, it's much easier to keep them locked away. However, if you ever suspect your cat might've eaten something they shouldn't have, Make sure to call your vet right away. Signs of food poisoning to watch out for include drooling, vomiting, loss of appetite, diarrhea, lethargy and weakness, low mood, pale or yellowish gums, excessive thirst or urination, nervousness and hyperactivity, and muscle tremors, seizures, or coma. If you notice any of these signs or accidentally fed your cat one of the toxic human foods, call your veterinarian or an emergency clinic right away. Okay, so what can I feed my cat? Well, the first step to making sure your cat stays in good health is to make sure you feed your cat a high quality diet. Cats involved as hunters to consume prey that contains a high amount of protein, a moderate amount of fat, and a minimal amount of carbohydrates. Your cat also requires specific vitamins, minerals, fatty acids, and amino acids in addition to other vital nutrients. For this reason, your cat should primarily eat cat food that is specifically made for feline health and digestive needs. Adding human food can make for a nice occasional treat, but it shouldn't be given to them on a regular basis. After all, too many snacks, even healthy ones, can spoil your cat's appetite, which will prevent them from finishing their cat food. And this will disrupt the balance of nutrients, making them deficient in certain areas. And a consistent deficiency can lead to all sorts of health problems. For this reason, Make sure most of your cat's calories are coming from their cat food. 
To ensure that your cat is getting the best possible nutrition, you can check their cat food. Because many cat foods lack all of the necessary nutrients cats need to be at their healthiest. Some contain fillers like corn or soybean meal instead. If you are concerned about whether or not your cat is getting enough of the right nutrients, talk to your vet. They can recommend a nutritional cat supplement if necessary.